everyone. This is Larry Warden here. Today we're going to do a review on two microphones, the Samson Q2U microphone and the Fifine K669V microphone. I'm going to talk about the two microphones first, and then we're going to go and do some sound tests on each. First, the Samson Q2U microphone sells on Amazon for $89 Canadian. This is a dynamic mic and it's more resistant to external sounds except those that are coming directly into it. This microphone also has an XLR connection at the bottom where you can connect it to external audio devices. And it also has a headphone jack as well as an on and off switch. The other microphone, the Fifine K669B microphone sells for $62 on Amazon. And this is a condenser mic. This is more susceptible to ambient noise in the room. One advantage this microphone has, it has an input volume control right on the outside of the microphone. Both these microphones are plug and play with USB cables directly into your computer. So we're gonna to go to sound tests now, and I want you to help me to decide which microphone I should keep. The Samson Q2U $89 microphone or the Fifine K669B microphone which sells for $62. And I'd appreciate your comments after the video. I have my Samson Q2U microphone connected directly into my MacBook Pro computer, and I'm just giving it a sound test. You can see I have open uh, my sound input levels on the MacBook Pro computer. I have the input volume set to about 50%, and I can see my input level bars coming up to just under 50%. So I'm just seeing how this uh, Samson Q2U microphone sounds uh, with plugged directly into my MacBook computer. So we'll stop the recording and take a listen. I have plugged into my MacBook Pro computer now the Fifine 669B microphone. So I'm giving it a sound test now and looking at the input levels uh, on my screen for the MacBook Pro, I see that uh, the input level seems to be going a little farther than the 50% which I had the input level set to, which I had it set previously for the Samsung Q2U mic. So it almost seems a little stronger on the input level for the same distance I am talking to the microphone from. Anyway, let's stop this uh, recording. I have my Samsung Q2U plugged directly into my MacBook Pro computer, and I'm just giving it another sound test using Zoom just for a second platform to check the sound level on it. And again, I have it set to about 50%. So we'll stop the recording and we'll check the sound level. I now have my Fifine 669B microphone plugged directly into my MacBook Pro computer through the USB cable. And I'm just doing a sound check on Zoom. I wanted to use a second platform beside QuickTime to just see how the level was. I went into the Zoom settings and I set the input level for around 50%, the same as I did in QuickTime. So let's uh, stop the video and take a listen to the sound. Well, I've completed listening to our sound tests, the first two which were done on QuickTime audio, and the second two were done on Zoom. Uh, again, the both microphones were plugged directly into my MacBook Pro computer with USB cables and no external audio devices. So after listening to them, I decided the best microphone for me for my conference using and video making would be the Fifine K669B. I know it's a cheaper microphone at uh, $62 Canadian versus the $89 Samson, but I just feel that sounds a little better and it'll work best for me. But I have to send one of them back and uh, I would appreciate your comments on what you think after listening to the sound test, which would be the best microphone, the Fifine K669B or the Samson Q2U. So thanks a lot for listening and uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing product reviews on different electronics each week. Thank you.